Hey everyone. So in the last video, I went through dismantling the boat. <laughs> this video, I'm going to go through buying the wood for the Kielsen and preparing it, including steam bending. So um, I took a trip over to Woodcraft and... Okay, so these... These are white oak, which is what I need, but those aren't quite right. Oh, these are too short. I feel like Goldilocks. Nothing's exactly what I need. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> oh, it's cracking me up. Oh, look at that. That's cool. It's like a princess in a cabbage, which is kind of weird. Okay, what I really need to find is some white oak planks. Um, oh, oh, look at this. Bargain bin. That's fun. That's not what I need. All right, here we go. White oak planks. Perfect. So these are uh, mill to three quarter inch um, and planed uh, and ready for use. Um, but what I actually need is a one inch boards. Um, and a few of the boards that they had in the store had some knots and some holes um, and some cracking. So um, it took me a little bit of time to find the right pieces and I finally did which is great. Um, the good thing about Woodcraft is they have a good amount of wood to look through and I found what I needed. So as soon as I got it, I took it home. Okay, so I'm essentially going through how much bending is required and it's about four inches total. Um, and you can see that there's some layered pieces here. So I'm gonna have to incorporate that into the build. Um, but for the most part, there's about a four foot uh, graduated curve and uh, the most um, deepest part is about four inches. So what I'm going to do is um, obviously I couldn't find a piece that was uh, 16 foot 10 inches which is the total length of the original Kielsen. Essentially what I'm doing here is planning where the scarf joints are going to go and so I've decided here where you can see the overlaps are um, scarfed at places where I can ensure that there's a good amount of structural integ integrity. Um, a scarf joint right above the keel and a second one toward the back. So um, all of the boards were finished size at three quarter. I needed to buy a bandsaw. <laughs> uh, I realized that it was not the right type. And then about three days later, I ended up buying a second bandsaw. That's this jet model and I named her Joan. Um, so that's fun. Okay, so what I'm doing here is milling one of the three quarter inch pieces to a quarter inch because the total uh, width of the original Kielsen one total inch. So I'm ripping through uh, one piece two times. So now I get the fun part to shape the forward part of the keel. Um, so get that done and if you take a look, looks pretty good until I got a massive splinter in my hand and I tried to use my vacuum pump to suck it out and it was a horrific uh, uh, murder show disaster <laughs> and so the splinter never came out. Um, but here I am soaking the forwardmost part of the Kielsen to uh, get it ready for steam bending. And the method for steam bending that I'm using is one that I found from a, a YouTube channel called uh, Tips from a Shipwright. Uh, this man's name is Lou and he's outrageously uh, helpful. And I'll put a link to this um, clip of his below so that if you want to replicate the steam, uh, basically steam bag, like a sauna <laughs> approach to uh, cooking the Kielsen um, and bending at the same time, I highly recommend it. And it worked great. Um, so essentially what I did was I got my, my kettle and then I went to the auto parts store and got a piece of radiator hose about four feet. Um, so all in all, the only price I ended up paying was for the radiator hose. Um, 
and it worked great. Um, cannot recommend this enough. I haven't built a steam box, but if you want to steam bend something um, and steam bend it while you're forming it at the same time, give this a try. And so I started with the hose on the right side, and then I ended up moving it to the left side to make sure that the heat was coming up from underneath. Um, and I think that helped quite a bit. The board ended up steaming total time about two hours. And so at the end, it was outrageously hot. And you wouldn't think that just a small little kettle would make that much heat. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it was so hot. I could barely touch it. Um, thought I was gonna burn the damn house down. Um, but it was okay, it was fine, nobody died. I confirmed that the shape was what I needed, so I got started cutting the scarf joints and want to send a shout out to my friend Sean who came over to help um, help me cut those pieces. So here is my first piece of the kitchen. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's looking great so far. Um, and one thing I did realize is that old brittle Kielsen wasn't exactly what it was supposed to be. Um, so I have to leave this piece in the boat so it can get to shape a little bit better. So I ended up just, uh, uh, clamping down this, um, piece at the bulkhead, um, which seemed to help quite a bit. So I'm going to let it sit there for a little bit and a couple of days I think and when I'm confident that it's uh, the way that it should be I'm going to start to add the quarter inch sawn pieces that I added to the bottom and get those layered up and glued together and I can actually start um, putting all the scarf joints together and putting it into the boat and get it fiberglassed in. Very excited! Happy birthday, Connie Francis! <laughs> Her first measurement date was July 11th, 1958. And I got that information from Ray Sebo's, the chief measurer for Flying 15s. Happy birthday, Connie Francis. And now it's July 12th. And it's my birthday. <laughs> what a coincidence. Olivia, what do you want to do for your birthday? Me? I'm going to Woodcraft. Of course you are. <laughs> I want to say thank you to all of the people on YouTube who, uh, because of their tutorial videos, really helped me to <laughs> um, build my boat. I cannot thank you enough for all of your um, helpful um, videos, so thank you for that. Also, a few of you are tracking the progress of me building my own Burgy, my own personal flag, and I've decided to do a brass inlay in mahogany, and it's coming out really, really well. Um, thank you again to everyone. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone is safe and happy, and I'm off to go have a birthday dinner with a mask on on a patio and drink some beers. <laughs> so, fair winds, everyone. Bye! Oh yeah, and if you're wondering when the next video is coming out, hit the subscribe button so YouTube will tell you. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye!